if a governor cannot remove a local government chairman, okay, where does the president got the power to remove a governor? Femi Falano. So that means that Tinubu cannot remove a governor the same way a governor cannot remove a, 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 a local government chairman, okay, before their tenure, because they are elected positions. And that is correct. So I'm sure Falano is coming now to blast people thinking that they can use state of emergency or whatever to remove Governor Fubara. The same way Fubara knew that he does not have the power to remove the governors, that was why he kept quiet and maintained his coup until the end of their tenure. And after the end of their tenure, they don't have right to remain in the office. The governor will take charge of the local government council and determine what happens going forward. So in a video featured on Arise TV, Femi Falano San, a senior advocate of Nigeria, and emphasized that just as a governor lacks the authority to remove elected local government chairmen or councillors, similarly, a president cannot dismiss a sitting governor. He likened the removal of a governor by the president to an imaginary scenario where the National Assembly attempts to pass a resolution removing the president, okay, highlighting the absence of such provisions. So Falano pointed out that the Constitution outlines specific procedures for removing a governor, such as resignation, death, or impeachment. Therefore, he asserted that no president in Abuja possesses the power to suspend or remove a duly elected governor. So according to him, there are provisions in the Constitution for removing a governor, and it is either by resignation, death, or impeachment. So a president in Abuja cannot suspend or remove a governor. It is like the National Assembly passing resolution that the president has been removed. There is no such provision. The Supreme Court has said that no governor has the power to remove any elected local government chairman of chair, uh, government official before the end of their tenure. So if a governor cannot remove a local government chairman or a councillor, where does the president got the power to remove a governor? Okay. So what is bringing this now? So... Is, uh, is the president threatening to remove any governor? He cannot. And he cannot induce or formulate state of emergency for any state just to find a way to remove a governor. That is the truth. Okay. Again, the governor also does not have the power to remove an elected local government officials, both the local government chairman and the councillors. Okay. And, uh, and that is why in the case of River State, the governor did not try to remove them or sack them. He allowed them to maintain peace until their tenure expired. And after that tenure expiration, there is no law that will make them continue to stay in the office after the expiration of their tenure. Even the so-called River State, the law that was amended by the Amewile-led um, State House of Assembly is illegal. Illegal in the sense that, first of all, they defected from PDP to APC without any crisis in PDP, thereby losing their seat. And the state high court, the River State High Court has stated that these people have lost their seat and they should stop parading themselves as state House of Assembly members and they have no right again to sit under any guys in any location or at any location to preside over the affairs of the state as uh, legislators. And also order the state governor, Simnalai Fubara, not to have anything to do with them anymore because they are no longer legitimate uh, lawmakers for the state. Okay, so on, <laughs> on this premise, they can't do anything. So on this premise, the law that they amended, extending the tenure of the local government chairman, okay, for, for six months, is also invalid because they are no longer legitimate members of the state house of assembly. That is it. And then the second phase is that even when they made the law, the governor did not assent to it. The governor did not sign it. The governor did not approve it. So where is the role of um, the executive in enacting a law for the state? It's just like National Assembly made a law and president did not sign it and then they go ahead to implement it. It is no law. It's still a bill and it's invalid. Cannot be implemented. So the same way that they made that law to extend the local government chairman in River State without the governor signing it, and then they went ahead to implement it, is unacceptable. No, no court of competent jurisdiction will approve or see reason to that. It doesn't work. The judiciary and the law enforcement agents cannot 
implement or execute a law that has not been signed or approved by the executive arm of government, in this case, the governor of the state, of River State. So all the laws they said the River State Assembly made under Amatis Amewule to extend the tenure of the local government chairman is absolutely illegal. In fact, not even a law. It's still a bill because the governor did not sign it, so it cannot be implemented. My friend, I think Fubara knows what he's doing. That is why he kept mute, looking at them. They were just fooling themselves. He just waited for the local government chairman after ranting to wait until the end of their tenor. And once the tenor of their the end of their tenor uh, came to an end, the next thing is to <laughs> get them out of the office. That is it. They are no longer valid and they cannot continue to remain there. I will put a critical committee chairman and then use them to conduct another election. And that is if I'm in Fubara's position, that is what I will do. Get rid of them because they are agents of chaos in the state. Get rid of them, get people that can work and maintain the peace of the state, and then move on from there. And that is exactly what this guy has done. Hmm. The guy tried, I tell you the truth. Fubara is a man. Now somebody is saying in the comment section, and where does the court get the power to remove an emir who governor removed? Exactly. The same thing. The federal high court does not have right to discuss that matter. That is it. It's a, a, the traditional rulers matter is a state matter and only state high court can handle it. That is it. It's only when the state high court is incapacitated, then you can move to federal high court and then go to, um, um, you know, appeal court or Supreme Court further if need be. But I think the federal high court, the federal government does not have the right to meddle into that matter for now because it's within the jurisdiction of the state high court that is it all right and uh, somebody is saying please can you expatiate your comment good question an apc had destroyed the nigerian court the court is no longer hope of the common man exactly if you can't understand it go to sleep nigeria is a lawless country femi falano that is it the court has no power to remove any emir appointed by the governor. The state assembly has repealed the law and that has, um, you know, lacked the power to impose an emir on them. Nigeria has the worst judiciary in the whole world, corrupt individuals parading themselves as judges. Very bad. And I see, well, like what is happening in the Kano state now, I think Emir Bayero went to secure court judgment from the Federal High Court. Now, the governor has said that they should demolish the Emir uh, Ado Bayero's uh, uh, palace. And now, I think there's a bulldozer there now demolishing it, and there's nothing they can do about it. That is it. I think this scenario is quite different, okay, from what is happening in River State. We are talking of the extension of the tenure of the local government chairman. That is it. Has any civilian president in Nigeria ever removed a sitting governor? It has never happened. That is true. Uh, B.O., please help me ask them. It is all this nonsense law and interpretations that, um, you know, the so-called lawyers do. Those laws do not work in Nigeria. <laughs> okay? It's an emir, an elected official. Of course, it's not. So, And that makes the difference between the scenario in Kano State and the scenario in River State. Okay? Obasaki uh, Basak has suspended a lot of councillors all till now, up till now, to their salary has not been paid. And court give judgment that all these people should be paid. Obasaki has refused to pay them. Please, can you help tell Obasaki to pay us? Obasanjo removed the governor I of Ayeshi of Ikiti through declaration of state of emergency. So also removed a particular governor in the north. Uh, Ambassador, well, that is it. If there is a proof to get that done, he's the, actually he can do that because they said he's the president and the uh, commander of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So he 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 cuts the shot at that level. Hmm. So what we're seeing now in River State is uh, is mirage. It's just it's just unfortunate that uh, lawmakers who do not have power and making laws. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.